Hi, I'm John Murphy with InfoLink Consulting. In this video, we'll examine the data we wrote to the SQL Server database. Then we'll prepare and run a report in Cognos BI that utilizes the predictions made in SPSS Modeler. I'll now go to Microsoft SQL Management Studio to look at the contents of the table we created and populated in the database from SPSS Modeler. After logging on to SQL Management Studio, I select the database SPSS underscore Murphy underscore test. There it is. And I'll expand tables and select DBO table one, right clicking on it and opting to select the first top 1000 rows. That'll allow us to look at the data that was written to the table. So let's look at the data we wrote to the table. We have employee names, uh, the year, position name, country, position type, functional area, whether we predicted um, that the employee would voluntarily terminate this year or not, um, the confidence of that prediction, and then uh, the confidence that they will voluntarily terminate, which is uh, the same as the confidence in the prediction in those cases where we predicted the employee would terminate, and one minus the confidence in that prediction in cases where our prediction was the employee would not terminate. Now that we've had a look at the data written to our database, let's go to Cognos BI where we'll write a report that utilizes these predictions. Next, I'll add a pair of filters to my report. I hover over Query Explorer, select Query 1, and then drag the measure year from my source into the detail filters. Setting it equal to 2013. I'll validate that filter. No error shown, click OK. Next, I'll set a filter to only show those employees whose predicted voluntary attrition risk is greater than or equal to 10%, that would be 0 0.10. For this data set, the overall attrition rate is under 5%, so I'm only looking at those that are significantly higher than the, uh, than the average attrition risk. From query one, I'll select the data item conval term, drag it into the detailed filters, and set it greater than or equal to 0 0.10. That's 10%. Again, no errors, click OK. Next, I'll go back to my report page and add a title to the report. So navigate to the report pages, select page one. I'm going to double click in the header to add text. In the report header, I'll enter highest voluntary employee attrition risk by country for 2013. Click OK. My header displays. Now I'm going to run the report. I'm going to run the report as a PDF. I can run it in uh, many, many output formats. Um, launch my report. And the report is run. So the output is broken out by country because I grouped on country. And it's sorted within the country by high to low attrition risk uh, with a low cutoff of 10% or 0.10. So these are the employees by country 
uh, along with which functional area they work in and which what their position is, um, who the, the predictive model uh, projected them to be at the highest attrition risk. In this video, the last in this series, we used the SPSS modeler predictions published to Cognos BI to produce a report in Cognos on the employees with highest voluntary attrition risk by country. In this series, we demonstrated the tight integration between Cognos BI and SPSS Modeler. We utilized Cognos BI list reports and database data as inputs to a predictive model created in SPSS Modeler, and then published our predictions back into Cognos BI, where we utilized these predictions as part of a report. I'm John Murphy with InfoLink Consulting. Thanks for watching.